Jim, the advance mark, you're not looking to change as, it, as such as scrap it and just start again. Yes, Joanne, what we saw in the 7,000 response that we got in the survey is uh, that people do not like the current advance mark, even though there's only about, you know, it's under three per, per game. Um, so that's, we're proposing that that's scrapped, it's gone. What we're proposing is to introduce a new advance mark where um, the ball is kicked from outside the 45 metre line inside the 20 metre line and where it can be caught. There's some other additions onto it. This speaks to the five things people want to see and it speaks to a number of them. Um, so people want to see long range kick passing, uh, they want to see high fielding and they want to see scores, goal scoring. So to reward the risk of kicking a ball from the 45 metre line all the way into the 20 metre line, um, the player who catches the mark can take a, a free from that position or they can continue on and in most instances probably go for a goal and if the goal is not taken, so the advantage is not accrued, the referee will bring the ball back to where the original mark is met and we can take a free kick. So there are quite a few little little bits in there. So yeah. we, we, we look through look it. it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. So in this diagram, what we see is just a 45 metre line. It's a, it's a 25 metre kick, but in most, in most scenarios, it'd be a bit of an angle. So it'd probably be a, a 30 metre kick. Um, so um, what we're trying to get, well, what we are getting rid of is this mark where the ball is, it was, was heretofore kicked 15 metres. This is from the, um, the 22 hour on final. Ph phenomenal kick from just outside the 65 metre line into David Clifford. He catches the mark and I suppose, unfortunately, he stops and then take, kicks the ball over the bar. In the, what we're proposing is, in that scenario, David would take uh, young Kelly on, probably try and go for a goal. And if he doesn't get the goal, um, he can go back and take the mark. So it's rewarding that particular tactic that we saw from Kerry of being able to you know, kick the ball into the, um, into the full forward line. So the important thing is he can still go back and take his mark. So people quite often will think, well, if he's already had a shot, but he misses, that's the advantage accrued. You're saying no. Yeah, so what we need to, and I get that point, we're trying to, um, in the modern game, coaches might be reluctant to kick the ball into a 1v1, for example, because the ball might, ball might be turned over. In this scenario, like we had there with David Clifford, if he wins the ball, there's a goal chance on immediately. From a defensive perspective, they can tackle immediately, uh, unlike the kick-out mark. Um, and um, if the defender blocks it, well, then they've, they, in some ways they, they have, they have um, they've prevented a goal. A goal. Um, so, uh, and so we're trying to get this, this balance between, between risk and reward. The other change we've met is that from a kick-out mark, um, if the ball is won from a kick-out mark, um, the ball can then be kicked from that mark inside the 20-metre line, if that was, was on. In the current rule, that doesn't apply. Uh, and in some way, this speaks to the tradition, I, and I some ways call it the Dermot Early rule, where I look back at the tape of the 1980 Ireland final, where Dermot wins the ball, kicked out from the, from the Davin end, he wins the ball midfield, and he turns and simply kicks it, kicks it on into the Ross Common full forward line. And again, we're trying to get that balance between, you know, modern innovation and, and speaking to the traditional game as well. So just to confirm, what you're saying is if a player takes a midfield mark and then kicks it and it goes from outside the 45 metres, inside the 20 metres line, it will now count as an advanced mark? That's correct. OK, that sounds good. Thank you. Um, one last thing, actually, just is there a time limit on how long they have their advantage? We've decided to leave it up to the interpretation of referee when the advantage is no longer accrued. And, um, like, if it's answering over, you know, 10 seconds, you would say that's, you know, the ball obviously has been recycled and the referee will say, OK, the ball hasn't been brought forward in a, in a positive way. Let's just give the mark. So rather than restricting it to an exact time, and if it was 5.5 .5 seconds, for example, some teams might, you know, might appeal that, say, well, you, you went over the five seconds. So to avoid that confusion, we're just given that latitude where players can play on and the referee will give due, due time.